Um, where were you and what did you see this morning? What was going on? Well, I got up this morning. I was doing some uh, studying and I missed my favorite opinion. So I went through, I said, I probably left it in my car. So I come and open the door to go to my car and there's this guy standing there and he was like, I'm like asking him, why are you on our porch? And now, we, where were you when you were when you I saw him? I was in the doorway. Right here. Yeah. Can you show me? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Andrew. You want me to go to the door? Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. So you came out the door. Okay. No, I didn't come out the door. I had just got open this door. And this door Wait, was locked. Wait, I'm sorry, what did you say? I had just opened this door. Hold on a second. One last time. What did you say? I had just opened this door. And just as I opened the door, he stood up. Uh, probably on that chair. And show me where he was. Well, he was way over here. He was like right in here. By this chair. It's like he was just holding on to the chair. My friend said I thought there was some blood. But he was holding on to this chair and he backed off when I asked him what he doing on the porch. And then he said, ma'am, he said, I just want to know, can I use your phone to call my mom? He said, I got a mom and a sister. And he said, I just want to call them. I told him, I said, I ain't got no phone. And so I act like I was going back in the house. And just as I would close the door, he couldn't see me, but I could still see him. And just as I was closing the door, he kept calling me, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And then I finally answered him. He said, could you please, please let me use the phone? And I told him again, I didn't have a phone. And so he said, I said, why don't you go to the hospital? He told me about his being hurt and everything. You could see how bad his leg was. It was just like he barely could stand on it. And then he reached in his pocket and he pulled the lining of his pocket out and it was full of blood. But the rest of him didn't have no blood on it. It's just his pocket. And he put and he didn't put it back. But he kept on it. And then when I act like I was gonna close the door, and he kept calling me, he said, I know you're going in there to call the police. He said, But ma'am, because I had asked him, I said, why won't you call or uh, go to the doctor? He said, I care. He said, the police gonna get me. He said, I'm gonna be honest with you. He said, I did something wrong last night. He said, and that's how I'm the way I am right now. He said, I think I've been shot. And yeah, he said, but I can't go to no doctors. And so by that time, he went to turn around and he went to hold on to this rail. And just that, by that time, I'm still on the phone with the operator, okay? Oh, uh, 911. And then when I seen him try to lift his leg over like this, that's when I realized he was trying to get away. So I called it, I told the lady on the line, you better tell him to hurry up. I said, he's trying to get, go get away and go down that driveway. That's when the police sort of shot up the driveway, jumped out and grabbed him and threw him on the ground and tore off all his clothes and stuff. And then the ambulance came and got him. Oh, what time was this, Miss Smith? About 8, maybe 8.15, somewhere along there. And did you hear them talking to him or him talking to, to the police? All or I what? could hear him was screaming. Screaming. Yeah, because where he was shot at, that that probably were hurting him. And you got to remember, he been like this all night. Where do you think he was all this time? That's what me and the police been trying to figure out. I've been trying to be an investigator too. Uh, but they thinking that he went down that street into those houses back there, and probably came up through that back part right there down in our backyard. What do you make of all this, Miss Smith? Well, we know we're living in the last days, and it's bad out here. We really do.